As the metal tooth passed by the permanent magnet wrapped in copper wire, the magnetic field was altered and measured by a computer. No, this isn't a sci-fi novel. I'm just reading about how a passive wheel speed sensor works. We'll dig deeper into it next. If you're replacing a wheel bearing on a late model vehicle, you'll most likely be dealing with a wheel speed sensor. In the past decade, wheel speed sensors have been moving from differentials, axles, and knuckles to inside or on the wheel bearing or hub unit. At this location, the wheel speed sensors are more accurate and often more protected from the elements. Most vehicles in use today use two types of wheel speed sensors, passive sensors, otherwise known as variable reluctance sensors, or active sensors, aka magneto-resistive sensors. Today, we're looking at passive wheel speed sensors, a two-wire sensor located in a hub unit between the bearing races. These sensors are usually mounted at a specific gap in a reluctor ring. As the teeth of the reluctor ring pass by the wheel speed sensor, it changes the magnetic field and produces an alternating current, or AC voltage. This can be seen by a scope as a sine wave. With an increase in the speed of the reluctor ring, the voltage signal will increase in amplitude. This change in amplitude can affect the switching toggle to a vehicle's computer. Passive sensors are less accurate and might read 3 to 5 miles per hour on a scan tool when the vehicle is sitting still. They're still used on the rear of some vehicles, while active wheel speed sensors will be more accurate and detect wheel movement at much lower speeds. I'm Maddie Weiner, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studios at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.